the MA3 Layouts Crash Course. There's a lot to cover and not a lot of time, so let's dive right in. Okay, I have already laid out, <laughs> get it, um, a couple different things here. I have a 3D, um, I have a couple different like presets and stuff like that. Color, groups, worlds, macros, you get the idea. And I also brought up the Layouts Pool in addition to the Layouts Window. So let's go ahead and create a new layout here. Let's label it um, Main 1, lovely, and let's select it. And let's go to Edit. Okie dokie. Uh, let's start by selecting a group and assigning that fixture selection. Boom, and now I have fixtures in here in the order that they are in the selection um, grid as well. I can use the move tool to move them around, um, or I can move them uh, in the encoder bar as well. But that looks good. Uh, now I'm going to assign, let's assign the actual group so I can have something to like tap on to select those fixtures if I don't want a specific selection of them. Lovely, let's assign a macro. Uh, the shuffle selection macro is a nice one. So let's tap that and maybe move that there. Okay, now let's assign that through seven. Perfect. And now I can select those fixtures and move and there are fixtures presets and then I can also use the align with this if I want to well, yeah let's kind of distribute them a little bit more like that that looks nice okay we've just created a really really fast layout um, with a couple different things with uh, fixture selections and with a macro and with some color presets great let's uh, hit the select tool and let's go out of setup okay great let's select these fixtures I can now tap what I the group has just selected them um, let's bring them to full you can see uh, that they are at full in the layout here. We can put them in a color, whatever, and we can see that there. If we did effects, we could also see that in here. It's basically um, a layouts and this using this way are basically like a glorified selection grid because in addition to intensity and color, you just have a little bit more information um, about them. It's easier to see things like fixture ID um, and all of that kind of stuff as well. Okay. Uh, if I hit my macro here, you can see now we have a matrix active down there. Let's clear out and let's go back into setup. Okay, but let's say we want to edit something in here. Maybe we don't like how this looks and maybe like we want our groups to not be some random light bulbs or something. So make sure you're in the setup window because uh, if you're not, it will assume that you're trying to edit the actual like object. We just want to edit the appearance of how it's, you know, how it looks in this layout. So let's just have that. We can change things um, about any object like the appearance. We can add some custom text like press me. And then we can adjust things within that text like uh, size, font size, color, um, how it's, you know, uh, its orientation, that kind of stuff. Um, in addition to things like padding, border size, if the element is actually visible or not, things like the name um, and that kind of stuff. You can adjust the name in here. Uh, the object, so if you like add in an empty object using the um, add tool, you can assign the object there. You can also assign its um, action. Things like, is it, the, is it just the default action, which is like what it, what MA thinks you want to do to this object? Or if you're like adding in multiple, maybe you add like two of this, you're adding the same sequence in two times, you'd have one that's go plus and one that's go minus or something, you can adjust that there. Um, if we went and we, edit like a fixture we can change things like maybe instead of the intensity bar we want to see a value as well so we know exactly what it is we can add borders that kind of stuff uh, again we can change the appearance if we don't want this and we can change the name as well in addition to again the object you can see how this is really really powerful we made this layout very quickly layouts are really quick to make especially basic ones um, and very useful um, you can adjust things like the name um, of objects in here, right? So if you don't want it to be preset one, you could be like white, red, that kind of stuff, and that could show up as well. Really, just a lot of things um, that you can uh, that you can see about these objects in layouts. They can essentially be like glorified uh, fixture sheets, um, glorified selection grids, or they could literally be like a um, a 2D version of your 3D. Um, there are lots of different ways that layouts are used. Layouts are used on pretty much every major show ever. Um, and there are a lot of different things. Some I've seen some folks uh, in MA3 make like um, different versions of like phasers and stuff that are all within layouts. So like they can 
basically be like select different objects and things like that. Play around with it. It's really, really helpful um, and it's just much more user friendly. Like if you have someone who maybe doesn't like know an Ayaton and they need to be able to like select fixtures and put them in colors and that kind of stuff. Um, layouts are a great way to do that or if you're an MA pro and you need um, like tons of you know tools at your fingertips without having to go and cycle through tons of different pages um, that is yeah that's that's layouts uh, the only other thing you can use icons like this to help uh, fit um, this centers the objects you can also use like is it fitting to the canvas both or the elements uh, which is like that kind of stuff you can also select like the layouts and of course if you wanted a different layout lots of people have more than just one um, you can create those as well and you can assign them in there all right that's the ma3 layouts crash course obviously a lot more than what we covered here but this is the basics you assign objects into here and then you can edit them and make them uh, the way that you want so yeah subscribe like this video i'll catch you guys later